in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and a glistening river, lived a community that cherished harmony above all else. The villagers were known for their warm smiles, helping hands, and most importantly, their unwavering respect for one another. They believed that respect formed the foundation of their peaceful coexistence. At the heart of the village stood an ancient oak tree its branches stretching towards the sky like outstretched arms, creating a serene canopy. Underneath the shade of this magnificent tree, the villagers would gather to discuss matters of importance, share stories, and celebrate their traditions. This tree was a symbol of unity and respect. One day, a traveler named Leo arrived in the village. He was a man of many talents. Boasting of his skills in music, storytelling, and painting, the villagers welcomed him with open arms, eager to learn from his experiences and talents. Leo quickly became the center of attention, captivating everyone with his mesmerizing tales and enchanting melodies. As time went by, Leo's ego began to inflate. He basked in the villagers' admiration and soon started to take their respect for granted. He would interrupt conversations, boast about his own accomplishments, and often dismiss the villagers' opinions as insignificant. The once harmonious village atmosphere began to wane as Leo's arrogance cast a shadow over the spirit of respect that had always thrived there. The village elder, a wise woman named Elara, noticed the growing discord and realized that Leo's behavior was causing fractures within the tight-knit community. Determined to restore the village's harmony, she devised a plan. Elara invited Leo to perform at the Grand Oak Tree Gathering, a special event where the entire village would come together to celebrate their shared values. Excited by the prospect of a large audience, Leo agreed enthusiastically. He practiced day and night, crafting a masterpiece that he believed would leave the villagers in awe. When the day of the oak tree gathering arrived, the villagers gathered beneath the ancient oak. Anticipation in their eyes. As Leo took the stage, the atmosphere was charged with excitement. However, as he began to play, an unexpected thing happened. His music was harsh, discordant and lacked the soulful melody that had once captivated everyone. Confused, Leo struggled to continue, his ego crumbling as he realized that he was failing to elicit the applause he had grown accustomed. 2. Amidst the dissonance, a young girl named Mia stepped forward, holding a simple wooden flute. She stepped into the spotlight, her fingers dancing gracefully over the flute's holes. A gentle, melodious tune filled the air, instantly capturing the hearts of the villagers. Soon, others joined in, playing their instruments and creating a harmonious symphony that resonated with the essence of the village, unity and respect. Leo watched in awe as the villagers played together, each note a testament to their shared values. He felt a pang of regret for his arrogance and realized that true respect wasn't earned through boasting or showmanship, but through genuine humility and appreciation for others. After the performance, the villagers approached Leo, their smiles warm and forgiving. They offered him a place within their symphony, embracing him as a valued member of their community. From that day on, Leo humbly shared his talents. And in return, he found true friendship and respect that went beyond admiration. The village flourished once again. And the ancient oak tree seemed to stand taller than before. Its branches stretching even wider. Leo learned that the true harmony he sought wasn't just in the notes of his music. But in the symphony of respect that bound the villages together. And as the years passed, the village continued to thrive. Its legacy of respect echoing through generations, reminding all who heard the tale that true greatness is found in the embrace of humility and pay. Harmony of Mutual Respect